A warm welcome to all loyal viewers of Autofocus, the Philippines' premier electronic magazine that's exclusively dedicated to the automobile and the auto industry. We are having a very special presentation today that shall center on the highlights of the awarding ceremonies of the 2017-2018 Autofocus People's Choice and Media's Choice Awards. More than a decade ago, we held the first ever poll for the Autofocus People's Choice Awards, a public exercise to determine the most popular automobiles in the country. It really doesn't feel that long because the men and women behind this endeavor have not ceased bringing in fresh ideas and insights. The result is a more credible and accessible six-month polling exercise that has evolved throughout its entire existence that commenced in 2005. The Philippine automobile industry has likewise continued to be more vibrant than ever, and we at Autofocus will always be proud to serve as the sounding board for local car manufacturers and importers. Now, the people have spoken once again as we give you the results of this extensive public poll. It is the people's choice, the public's aspirations for this year. Not only that, of equal importance, we will also give you the media's choice for 2017 as we have done in the past. Respected Philippine motoring journalists have carefully cast their votes to express their informed choices. And all this we will reveal to you in a while. So we suggest you be into your most comfortable as we give you the highlights and sidelights of the awarding ceremonies of the 2017-2018 Autofocus People's Choice and Media's Choice Awards. As a coach, you don't define yourself in terms of championships you've won. What happens beyond the trophies? You have to move forward, grow, and get better. Life is all about taking shots, and I want these kids to at least have the courage to take that shot so they can grow, learn, be compassionate, and have the heart of a champion. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control with the new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough the huh? to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. We are back with this very special presentation, spotlighting the awarding rights of the 2017-2018 Autofocus People's Choice and Media's Choice Awards held at the Grand Ballroom of the Valle Verde Country Club. It is a strictly formal event and people have started trekking in to take their places. It is another opportunity to bring together all the stakeholders of the motoring industry in one happy, momentous event. the Autofocus People's Choice Awards is a brainchild of Mr. Ray Butch Gamboa, the face of motoring today and Autofocus, as well as the chairman and CEO of STV or Sunshine Television, organizers and managers of the event. The awards have evolved through the years and it was in 2012 that STV consolidated public votes with actual vehicle registration data from Stradcom Corporation, official IT service provider for the Land Transportation Office for the actual sales. The organizers have found this to be a more equitable scoring system and have adopted it since then. 
The latest changes we affected were the Media's Choice Awards and the Android voting application. As for the Media's Choice Awards, the organizers felt that the Philippine motoring journalists have the unique position of having more informed choices because of the variety of test drive automobiles available to them. After a sumptuous dinner, STV Chairman Ray Bush Gamboa welcomed the top executives of the car companies and their representatives as well as members of the Philippine motoring media to the 2017 Auto Focus People's Choice and Media's Choice Awards. Uh, thank you to, uh, and welcome to BMW. We're headed by Ms. Maricar Parco, present. Of course, our good friend, Attorney Albert Arcelia, heading the Chevrolet Group. Albert, thank you very much. Also, thank you to the newly installed, relatively newly installed President of Honda Cars Philippines, Noriyuki Takakura, President and General Manager. Thank you for coming, sir. Thank you very much. And Hyundai is headed by Miss Melanie Fernandez, Advertising Head, please. Thank you for being here. From Isuzu Philippines Corporation, Mr. Sujiro Sakoda. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being here. Lexus Manila is represented by Mr. Raymond Rodriguez, President, and of course the <laughs> from Mercedes Benz, Mr. Frankie Young. Thank you very much, Frankie. Mitsubishi, of course, is represented by no other than Mr. Freud Yitian Kim, the first Vice President. Always present, my good friend. Nissan. Is headed by the Nissan contingent is headed by Mr. Dax Avenido, sales manager marketing. From Peugeot, the ever dapper Glenn Dasik, president. Supremo is here to represent Sang Yong, Mr. Dave Mausadja, marketing director. Dave. Subaru has Miss Christine Liwanag heading the contingent. Christine, thank you for being here. Mr. Jeffrey Lopez represents Suzuki Advertising Head. Jeffrey, thank you for being here. From Volkswagen, Franz De Claude is here to represent. Sir. From Volvo, Mr. Christopher Yu, Senior Marketing Manager. Christopher, thank you for being here. Ford have Mr. Mark Cruz and Isa Suarez, Brand Managers. Mr. Art Balmadrid, Tata. Art. From Toyota, Sherwin Chudian. Ms. Pinky Colmenares, executive editor of Manila Bulletin, took to the stage to speak on behalf of the select group of journalists who took part in the selection process for this year, namely George Vermitas of C Magazine. Inigo Rosas of Manila Bulletin, Brent Ka of Auto Industria, Paolo Subido of Top Gear, Ted Andalong of Business Mirror, Arnel Doria of DWIC, Bell Alba of Gadgets Magazine, and Brian Afuang of Business World. The Media Choice Award is my favorite part of the People's Choice Awards because the winners here are chosen by the men and women who have a strong or to others, a strange affection for the car. These are people who know the car not as a machine or a smart gadget or a personal assistant, but as a thing to be adored. These are the select group of journalists who have been invited to vote in the Media Choice Awards. You must know them personally or through their stories. They have very strong opinions. They have always been honest about their impressions and findings through their stories. They do not keep back when they say they are disappointed with something in the car. In a while, we shall hear from this select group of motoring journalists who have chosen the Media Choice Awards in four categories. Engine performance, design, safety features, and value for money. So tonight, Good luck to all the cars that are vying for this very prestigious Media Choice Awards. Mr. Jerry Aquino, Chairman of the Awards Committee, also addressed the crowd. We've seen how this program uh, has evolved from what was uh, once a red dream uh, SMS exercise to what it is now, 
uh, a full blown nationwide poll anchored uh, on social media. You've all probably seen the results uh, in the current web page showing all scores in ranks concurrent up to September sales in the public poll which closed October 31. October sales were recently audited and incorporated. They will upload tomorrow. I know what they are and I have to say you are in for one or two surprises tonight. So now let the People's Choice Awards begin. Here we are with the Autofocus People's Choice Awards. The awards will go to the vehicles with the most online votes combined with actual sales. The ultimate expression of choice by our driving public. The people have spoken and now let's hear what they have to say. When we call back on stage, STV's Chairman and CEO, Mr. Butch Gamboa, and the Awards Committee Chairman, Mr. Jerry Aquino, to hand out the awards. And we also request STV's Vice President for Production and Special Events, Ms. Jenny Blaza, to call on those who shall receive the awards. The first category is the Mini of the Year Award, and the winner is... The Toyota Wheeler. Mr. Carlo Ablaza, Assistant Vice President for Marketing, received the award in behalf of Toyota Motor Corporation from Mr. Ray Butch Gamboa and Mr. Jerry Aquino. And for the Subcompact of the Year. The Honda City. Mr. Noriyuki Takakura, President of Honda Cars Philippines, went up the stage to receive the awards. For Luxury Subcompact, our winner is the BMW 1 Series. For Standard Compact Sedan, the winner is the Honda Civic. Honda VP for Admin, Attorney Luis Soriano, is up on the stage now receiving the award. Moving on now for the Luxury Compact Sudan of the Year, the Lexus IS350 took the top honor as Lexus President Raymond Rodriguez took to the stage to receive the award. And now for the Midsize Sudan of the Year, the winner is... The Honda Accord! That is the third award for Honda so far this evening. And for the next category, the Luxury Midsize Sedan of the Year. The Lexus ES350. Receiving the second award thus far is Lexus immediate past president, Mr. Danny Isla. For the sports car class, the winner is the Subaru WRX. Receiving the award is Ms. Catherine Liwanag, a peer marketing executive of Subaru. Now for the Luxury Sports Car of the Year. The winner is the Lexus RCF. Receiving the award is Mr. Yuichiro Suzuki, Executive Vice President of Lexus Manila. The next category is the Luxury Large Sedan of the Year. The winner is the Lexus LS460. Moving on now to the next category. And now for the standard MPV class, the winner is the Mitsubishi Adventure. Receiving the award is Mitsubishi Motors Philippines Corporation's first vice president for marketing, Mr. Froy D. Tian Kin. We have 11 more categories before we go to the overall winner of the Standard Automobile of the Year and the Premium Luxury Automobile of the Year in this staging of the People's Choice Awards. Our Autofocus special presentation continues after this short break. Happiness. Happiness times seven. The all-new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use, flexible interior for your various needs, convenient features, advanced technology, powerful engine, fuel efficient for a smooth journey, and sleek design for you. The all-new 
Pondomobilia. Think you're tough? Do you dare to go off-road? Or off-key? Do you use your great power with great control? With a new Isuzu D-Max, you're tough enough to be unstoppable. And you're tough enough to be right back. Isuzu D-Max, tough enough for anything. Welcome back to our Autofocus special presentation, spotlighting the awarding ceremonies of this year's Autofocus People's Choice and Media's Choice Awards. We continue this special coverage as the event's MC, top radio personality and much sought after event host DJ Suzy calls on the next winner, this time for the luxury MPV of the year. Mr. Frank Yang, Chief Operating Officer of the Auto Nations Group, received the award. Up next is the Subcompact SUV of the Year, and the winner is... The Honda BRV. Having won the Subcompact SUV of the Year, Honda Cars Philippines also took the award for Compact SUV of the Year for the Honda CRV. We come now to the next category. Now for the luxury compact SUV crossover, the winner is the Lexus NX2 KT. The next category is the midsize SUV of the year. The winner is the Mitsubishi Montero Sport. Yeah. We come now to the luxury midsize SUV of the year. The winner in this category is the Lexus RX 350. So far, Lexus has won six awards for the night. The next category is the large SUV of the year. Our winner is the Honda Pilot. Moving on now to the next category, we have the Luxury Large SUV of the Year. And the winner is... The Lexus LX570. We have three more categories to go before we announce the Automobile of the Year in the Standard category and the Automobile of the Year in the Luxury category. And for the Van of the Year, the winner is... Congratulations to... The Nissan Irvan. Mr. Dax Avenido, Senior Manager for Communications of Nissan Philippines, received the award for the Nissan Irvan. For the Luxury Van of the Year, the winner is... Our winner is... The Honda Odyssey. And now we come to the last category before we announce the Automobile of the Year in the Standard and Luxury categories. And now for the Pickup Truck category, congratulations to the Toyota Hilux. Congratulations to all the category winner in the Standard and Luxury models in the 2017-2018 People's Choice Awards. We feasted our eyes on the top choices among the sedans, SUVs, vans, sports cars, and pickups. As we approach the finish line for People's Choice Awards, it's time to sound the call for the 2017-2018 People's Choice Automobile of the Year. Two large pistons will be won by two automobiles tonight for the Automobile of the Year and the Luxury Automobile of the Year. And the 2017-2018 Automobile of the Year is no other than the Toyota Fortuner. This is the third straight year for the Toyota Fortuner to win the distinction of the Automobile of the Year. 
For this three-peat victorious run, the Toyota Fortuner joins the elite class of Hall of Famers in the People's Choice Awards. A big congratulations to the Toyota Fortuner! And now for the Automobile of the Year in the Luxury category. The winner is none other than the Lexus RX350. We just named 22 category winners in the 2017-2018 Autofocus People's Choice Awards and of course the two grand winners tonight, the Toyota Fortuner as the People's Choice for Standard Automobile of the Year and the Lexus RX350 as the People's Choice for Premium Luxury Automobile of the Year for 2017-2018. Excitement in the venue continues to accelerate as the next set of awards are lined up for presentation. Up next are the Media's Choice Awards on this week's special staging of Autofocus, the Philippine Motor Show. It's an eagerly awaited industry event that we have on center stage on this week's special edition of Autofocus, your weekly automobile electronic magazine. You're watching highlights and sidelights of the awarding ceremonies of the 2017-2018 Autofocus People's Choice and Media's Choice Awards. After giving recognition to the public's choice for the most popular automobile models, we are now ready for the Media's Choice Awards in the following categories for standard and luxury models, namely Best Design, Best Engine Performance, Best Safety Features, and Best Value for Money. As Ms. Pinky Colmenares, executive editor of the Manila Bulletin said, the select group of motoring journalists, the votes cast were their pure and honest evaluation of the vehicles, a model may win only if it gets the majority of votes in a given category. The first category is for best design, where the most attractive vehicle is judged both from the exterior and the interior. Mr. Enigo Rosas and Mr. Brent Cole went up the stage to hand the trophies to the winners for this first category for Best Design. Let's start with the winners of the Best Design in the Standard category. For the Mini Class. And the winner is... Receiving the award is Mr. Albert Ercilia, President and CEO of Chevrolet Philippines. For the subcompact sedan, it's the Mazda 2, and receiving the award is Mr. Japet Castillo, Senior Manager for Mazda Philippines. For the compact sedan, the winner is the Honda Civic. The next category for best design for standard models is the midsize sedan. This award goes to the Mazda 6. For the sports car category in best design, the award goes to the Mazda MX-5. Congratulations! 
Still in best design, the winner for the subcompact SUV is the Sangyong Tivoli. Receiving the award is Mr. Dave Makasadya, Managing Director of Sangyong Philippines. The next category for large SUV. Congratulations to the Ford Explorer. And the last category for best design is for the MPV, and this distinction goes to the Toyota Innova. Moving on now to the best design and luxury models, DJ Suzy and Mr. Ray Butchkamboa have the winners for you. Luxury compact sedan. The Lexus IS350. BMW 5 Series Luxury mid-sized SUV Lexus RX 350 That rounds up our media's choice for the best design category. We move on now to the best engine performance category, where the vehicles are judged on their best power output, engine response, and fuel consumption. Mr. Arnel Doria, Bel Alba, and Ted Andolong were on hand to give out the trophies for the standard category. For the Mini, it's the Honda Brio. And for the subcompact sedan, the winner is the Mazda 2. The Honda Civic takes the plum for the compact sedan. Now for the sports car, it's the Ford Mustang. Moving on now on the subcompact SUV, the winner is the Subaru XV. And now for the midsize SUV, the winner is the Mitsubishi Montero Sport. And now for the MPV category for Best Engine Performance, the winner is the Toyota Innova. For the last category for the van with the Best Engine Performance, congratulations to the Hyundai Grand Star X. We have 8 categories for the standard models for the Best Engine Performance. Let's now move on to the Luxury category, this time with the father and daughter tandem of Butch and DJ Suzy. BMW 5 Series The Luxury Large Sedan Class The Porsche Panamera The Luxury Compact SUV The Great Sports of Porsche Macan And now we come to the final category in the best engine performance for luxury models. And finally in the luxury van class. The Toyota Alpha. More of the Philippine Motoring Media's choices for models with outstanding features when we resume our special coverage of the 2017-2018 Autofocus People's Choice and Media's Choice Awards after this short break. Happiness. 
Happiness times seven. The all-new Honda Mobilio. Ease of use. Flexible interior for your various needs. Convenient features. Advanced technology. Powerful engine. Fuel efficient for a smooth journey. And sleek design for you. The all-new Honda Mobilio. Motoring Today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just the click away. Welcome back to this special coverage of the awarding rights of this year's Autofocus People's and Media's Choice Awards, which were held at the Posh Valley Verde Country Club in Pasig City. We shall pick up where we left off, which is the continuation of the giving out of the Distinguished Media's Choice Awards by some of the country's prominent motoring journalists. We now move up to the automobiles with the best safety features, as judged by our distinguished panel of Philippine motoring journalists based on the most sophisticated active and passive safety features. Mr. Brian Afuang of Business World and Mr. Paulo Subido of Top Gear were on hand to give out the trophies. For the standard models, the Mitsubishi Montero Sport took the top honor for the mid-size SUV. For the large SUV, the winner is the Ford Explorer. For the pickup, the winner is none other than the Ford Ranger. And lastly, for the MPV, the Volkswagen Touron took the top honors. Moving on now to the luxury models with the best safety features. For this particular category, two car manufacturers came home with three awards each. The Mercedes-Benz A-Class to come the owners for the luxury subcompact sedan. The Mercedes-Benz B-Class for the luxury MPV. And the Mercedes-Benz V-Class for the luxury van. Volvo, on the other hand, was the winner for the luxury large sedan with their Volvo S90. The luxury midsize SUV for their Volvo V60 Cross Country the luxury large SUV for their Volvo XC90. Congratulations to Volvo and Mercedes-Benz! And now we go to the last category, value for money where the motoring journalists judge the vehicles with the best performance at the best price. Mr. George Ramirez of C Magazine went up the stage to hand out the award. In the mini class, the Suzuki scenario. For our sports cars, the Toyota 86. Best value for money in the pickup class. 
there you go! Eight winners in the standard category for best value for money. We go now to the luxury models in the same category. The best value for money for luxury is The Lexus IS 350. We have the eight winners in the luxury category for best value for money. That was how the Motoring Media voted for the 2017 2018 Autofocus Media's Choice Awards. Congratulations to all the category winners and, of course, the Media's Choice winners. The 2017 2018 Automobile of the Year is a Toyota Fortuner. For the Luxury Automobile of the Year, it is the Lexus RX350. The final stretch of our special presentation. After this break, please stay with us. Features of the all-new Innova. Love the journey. Your weekly window to the world of business and guide to the good life can now be watched online. Just click on businessandleisure.ph and watch this week's show and other past episodes of Business and Leisure at your most convenient time of the day. Business and Leisure is now on the web. Watch it anytime. Welcome to the home stretch of this week's special presentation of Autofocus, featuring the highlights and sidelights of the awards night of this year's Autofocus People's Choice and Media's Choice Awards. As in the past, the choices were not easy, both for the public and the motoring media. This year, uh, it was particularly uh, easy to use the interface so the process was very very uh, smooth for us to choose the well-deserved winners no they were very well deserved because uh, it was a very very tough competition uh, choosing between the very very competitive uh, lineup this year 
we've uh, had the privilege to see and drive most, if not all, of the cars. So I'd like to congratulate once again STV for the Autofocus People's Choice Awards and also the Media's Choice Awards. The People's Choice and Media's Choice Awards for this year are the result of 13 years of innovation and constant refining to come up with the most fair and most credible program for the motoring industry. Butch, uh, we are happy in, in the uh, awards committee that you continue to look forward to um, seeking ways and measures by which this program can be improved. And as you saw from the exercise of 13 years, this program started as a pure SMS-based exercise. And uh, today you have an honest-to-goodness nationwide uh, poll that's anchored on uh, social media. It's a different animal altogether from what it was uh, 13 years ago. I'm also happy that the committee has been able to and will be able to work with the media selection board uh, insofar as reviewing and seeing to it that the classifications of all the models uh, entered in both awards programs are in their proper places. And uh, that really gives uh, this program uh, a lot more credibility, makes it a lot of more helpful, and it becomes more relevant to the uh, emerging trends in model classifications uh, that the industry is headed towards. Uh, congratulations, uh, Butch, and uh, see you in the 14th one. I think this is the first time that uh, we win the numerous awards from uh, People's Choice and uh, Media's Choice Auto Focus. No? And uh, we're actually very happy about this matter. And uh, we would like to thank the awarding committee for uh, the awards to be given to Honda Cars Philippines. And we will continue. We're going to assure the public, the customer, that uh, we'll strive better for next year so that we'll be able to uh, give uh, the best product to our customer. To all the viewers, thank you very much for patronizing our Honda product and we promise you that, that for the succeeding years, we are always uh, going to uh, provide the best and quality product and services to our customers. It's a privilege for us to be able to get some awards from the Media's Choice and uh, we're very thankful for those. It's really a good recognition of the good technology of Mazda. And of course, it's for us to be able to share that with uh, consumers in the Philippines. Well, of course, we are very uh, ecstatic and very happy uh, to have won several awards, especially on our 5 Series, our best-selling model, the 5 Series, and of course, also our 2 Series Active Tutor, which was a game changer for BMW. And of course, we are very happy that it's the people who actually voted for us and also our media friends, our, uh, our motoring journalists who we really appreciate when it comes to supporting the motoring industry. Definitely the, the awards will further boost the confidence of BMW in pushing the best products in, in our category. And also we feel that this is a way of uh, affirming that uh, we are on the right path in providing sheer driving pleasure to our clients. We're very delighted that we won the Media's Choice for uh, the best luxury MPV, our Peugeot 5008. And the People's Choice Awards and the Media's Choice Awards of the Autofocus has continuously innovated throughout the years, uh, more than 13 years since it started. And uh, we're very delighted to be a participant and to be an awardee uh, for tonight. The 5008 for Peugeot is a very loved car, especially in Europe. And uh, with its very impressive performance of a 2-liter diesel and seats 7 uh, passenger, it's one of the most comfortable MPVs uh, that you can uh, uh, ride in. Peugeot has actually uh, just launched uh, the Peugeot 3008. It has won the, uh, this year, last March, the Car of the Year, European Car of the Year. And we're very excited that uh, by next year, customers are going to see this uh, in our showrooms. So we're inviting everyone to check out uh, the new vehicles from Peugeot. Well, we were overwhelmed with the different categories and awards. And we'd like to thank, of course, Mr. Butch Gamboa. And of course, to the organizers of the ever-famous Autofocus Media Choice Awards, we'd like to thank all of them, especially STV also, and we are very happy and we are honored 
and also for us the I think the most prestigious award was the luxury category on the automotive which is the Lexus RX 350 and we earned this since back to back now since last year so we're very proud and we're very happy and I think that speaks for itself now our Lexus products so we are uh, gaining more customers no, every year and for this year alone we will be making the record sales for Lexus so we'd like to thank all watching on the confidence of, of our Lexus products so once again thank you very much to all most especially to Butch Gamboa it will strengthen our brand and this is a testimony no, that uh, our products are really outstanding and we almost we won in almost all categories no? we welcome all of you to come to our to come and visit our Lexus uh, showroom at the Global City. We were very happy with the awards. Actually, I was very surprised that you know we we, we got four made, uh, four awards actually. So we got the best safety feature for the Ford Explorer, the uh, best safety feature for the Ford Ranger, and we got the best engine for uh, Mustang. And of course, I think the best design for Ford Explorer. Actually, first of all, we would like to thank um, Sunshine TV and uh, for uh, Autofocus Media and our partners. For voting for our vehicles, it's very heartwarming to, to know that you know our customers are still you know loving our products, and it's very great to know that you know until now continuous yung, yung support nila for the product, and you know they really love Ford. We really had a very good evening today uh, because we won a lot of awards, especially for the best in safety features. Uh, in almost all the categories for Volvo and we're really very proud that uh, again Volvo has been recognized for the very core values for what it stands for which is safety so we're very very happy that we continue the tradition. STV has been family to us at Volvo from the very start and we have always learned a lot from all the insights and inputs, the objective insights and inputs of Mr. Gamboa. And we're very happy that as we go through with the automotive industry, with everything that's happening, the STV has been there uh, guiding everyone in the automotive industry. We will be entering 2018 with very exciting models. We have the, the V90, the S90, and of course the XC90, and the very new XC40 coming into the first quarter of next year. And with our new models and uh, technology that we will present next year, I'm sure the market will be very excited. Well, we're very excited and we're very thankful to the organizers, to STV and the organizers of the People's Choice Awards and the Media Choice Award. Nissan uh, has garnered the People's Choice Best in Van class uh, for the Nissan Irvan and the Media Choice would be the Nissan Juke. So we're very thankful. thankful. Thank you for all the supporters and thank you for all those who have voted for the two nameplates under Nissan. Well, it definitely would go a long way in us, for us in terms of promoting our brands. It just goes to show the strength of our products now that the Nissan Irvan and the Nissan Juke has won cat as respective categories. And we'll definitely be able to promote this and it's a very good influential thing for the customers to really consider. Uh, watch out for the exciting things that we'll, Nissan will be bringing in the future. We won the best SUV uh, engine performance for the Subaru XV, which is uh, we're very happy about it because it's a new model and uh, it's quite exciting to hear that the reception and the reviews are very much positive. The other one is the sports car of the year, the Subaru WRX. In fact, we just released our uh, facelifted minor change version of the WRX and we're very happy that it lived up to its uh, promise as a very great sports car with these titles attached to the brand, it will definitely boost the identity of our specific models. And especially if it's labeled People's Choice, meaning it's not just another governing body, but actually the people who voted for this. So it gives it a big sense of credibility. Next year will be an exciting year for us. Thank you very much to STV team. Very, very awesome team. All of the people from Sir Butch down to the entire team who worked hard for this. Congratulations to all of you. The Automotive Philippines is very happy for garnering so much awards for this year's uh, Media Choice Awards and People's Choice Awards. We won the High Ace, Wego, Fortuner, and Vios, Alphard, to name a few.
Um, it's getting the message out there to the motoring public and people who would like to purchase their vehicles and knowing which are the top brands who are winning these awards so that at least they have a gauge on what vehicles to purchase. For Mitsubishi, we're happy that uh, we got uh, four awards, uh, two for the People's Choice and two for the Media Choice Awards. So I think we got the best MPV and the best uh, SUV of the year. And for the Media Choice, our Montero Sport got the best in engine performance and best in safety features. For the Montero Sport, the 2017 uh, edition, the GT has additional features like the front collision mitigation system, uh, adaptive cruise control, and the UMS, or what we call the ultrasonic misacceleration mitigation system. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, everyone who voted for the Mitsubishi brand for the adventure for the Montero Sport. So we're very appreciative of, uh, of your efforts. Congratulations to STV, especially to Sir Butch. We'll see you next year. Of course, we're very happy with the uh, awards we won tonight. Um, we won from the People's Choice Awards as well as the Media Choice Awards. It's actually a recognition of all the hard work we're doing for our brands. We've won a Best Luxury MPV for the People's Choice Awards, and that's for the Mercedes-Benz B-Class. And we've also won a couple of awards for the Best Safety Features for our uh, V-Class and B-Class as well. So awards like this actually um, do a number of things for the different brands. No? Um, so for one, it actually um, acknowledges that, we, that the brands are actually doing a great job uh, integrating the features that are very important to passengers and drivers alike. So for example, in our case, when you are awarded with a safety award, it just means that all the years of research and all the hard work that our engineers have done for the cars are actually paying off. And that's very important when you decide to buy a car. Automation Group, we, uh, we assure the public in our, in our market that we are continuing to actually think of ways on how to improve the customer experience from the moment they step into the showroom even until after they buy a car, when they bring the car for service. So it's every step along the way we make sure that the quality and the peace of mind that they expect from a very luxurious and premium brand is there. The yearly event, that uh, which is the Autofocus Award, is actually a good idea to bring the brands and the media together for one night to celebrate really um, all the achievements that we have been working hard on every year. No? We may be competitors out there in the market, but together for one night we're all friends and it's a really positive message. This year's People's Choice Polls were brought closer to the public via on-site voting with the cooperation of Robinson Smalls. We decided to partner with Sunshine TV so that um, we can uh, get in touch or uh, encourage our shoppers who are car enthusiasts to come and vote in the mall and uh, so that they also know that we bring in something that is in line with their interests. So we would like to invite everybody to please continue supporting Robinson's Malls. So we have a lot of malls nationwide and I'm sure there's one nearest you. Thank you. We hope you enjoy this special feature of the highlights of the 2017-2018 Autofocus People's Choice and Media's Choice Awards. Congratulations to all the winners and to all the participants of this annual poll to determine the most popular automobiles in the country for this year. As we always say, there are no losers here, only winners. But the biggest winner of all is the Philippine Motoring Public, because once again, we have been your sounding board for your preferences. Our thanks again to our steadfast partners in this endeavor, Stratcom and the Land Transportation Office. We also wish to thank Robinson's Malls for hosting this year's on-site voting in our efforts to bring the voting closer to the public. But last but never will be least, thank you to our illustrious motoring journalists for their dedicated participation in the 2017-2018 Media's Choice Awards. Until next year, for Autofocus, this has been Butch Gamboa.